What's up everybody? Derek here. It's finally starting to get nice out here in Iowa, so getting to work outside, which makes me very, very happy. Today we're working on a 2009 Chevy Impala. Gonna change the power steering pump. Uh, this one's making a bunch of noise. It's a really common issue on these cars. It's not really a huge problem. It's just more annoying than anything else. Um, to start, you're going to take your oil fill cap and loosen it until the net comes out, just like that. I'm going to set it off to the side. Take our cover, pop that up. And the next thing we're going to do is undo these two bolts for our coolant overflow reservoir. We're going to leave the hose attached and just kind of set it off to the side so it's out of our way. Next thing we got to do is loosen the belt. The tensioner is way down inside here. I'll try to get a better view of that after I get the reservoir off. <clears throat> after both of those are done, uh, you, well, you push down on your tensioner. You're going to pull the belt off this pulley right here. And just kind of let it sit there. Um, that'll give us access to our pump. After that's off, there's three 13 millimeter head bolts, one there, one there, one off on the side over there. We're gonna take those off. Then we're gonna undo our hose. Our low pressure hose is right here. It's just a spring clamp. We'll use our pliers. Um, after we get the pump unbolted, we'll pull it up. There'll be a, a threaded fitting for our high pressure line. And then the pump's gonna be out. Um, We'll take it over to the bench and swap the pulley and put it all back together. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is take these nuts off for the overflow reservoir. 10 millimeter socket. Like always, I will put the sizes in the description below. And any other tools I end up using. <clears throat> Get those off, this just pulls up. And we're just gonna kind of set it off to the side here. Okay guys, next thing we're gonna do is loosen our belt. Um, see my ratchet here. Uh, it's just a 3 8 head ratchet head size. So you're just gonna get it in there, pull the up on it or down over. You're gonna tighten it basically. And then you're gonna pull it off this smooth pulley here. Doing one handed is a little difficult. There we go. And our belt's loose. So take it off the pump there. Set it off to the side, kind of let it hang. Next thing I'm going to do is undo this spring clamp for this low pressure hose. It's just a pliers. Pinch the ends together. Push down the hose a little bit. And I always grab the hose with my pliers and just twist it a little bit. And get that down far enough. Twisting it like that just kind of breaks it free. Whoop. And I'll clean all that up. Okay. After the reservoir's off, we're going to undo this harness here. Um, 
just pulled up on it and the zip tie is kind of broke but it's attached there there and up here just pop them off kind of get it up out of your way uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a turkey baster to suck the fluid out of the reservoir to kind of prevent the mess that I've already made there's not much left in there Cleaned up my mess, best I could. But reservoir is empty, that hose has got nothing left in it. So that's all attached, or unattached, sorry. Next we're gonna undo the bolts in our pump. There's one right there, there's one right there. And there's one down here on the bottom right there and they are 13 millimeter I'm just gonna use my very short extension on my shallow 13 uh, you could use a deep well 13 millimeter if you'd rather I always like to break everything loose before I completely remove bolts it seems to work a lot better that way then I know everything is broke loose then I can just spin them out almost by hand just about got this last bolt out <clears throat> another thing I like to do is kind of orientate the bolts off to the side in the same pattern as you took them off um, it makes it a lot easier if you happen to have different length bolts, different sized bolts. Then you kind of know exactly how they go back. Some of the bigger jobs, I'll actually take a cardboard box and poke holes in it just to kind of match the pattern of whatever I'm taking apart. And then I'll stick the bolts in there. Um, you know, there's some stuff that'll have three or four different sized bolts in it. and last thing you want to do is break something further because you put the wrong bolt in the wrong spot so as you can kind of see I got this is my left one my right one on the bottom and then my top one so it makes it pretty easy when I put it all back together I'll know exactly where they went <clears throat> So after the bolts are out, pump will just pull them out. Like that. Next thing we're gonna do is Loosen this fitting here. That's our high pressure line. We gotta take that off and pull the pump all the way out. For that, it's just a 16 millimeter wrench. Use the open end. Pop it loose. There's not much oil left in there. But now we'll take it over to the bench and switch the pulley. So after getting the pump off, I went ahead and dumped all the exa, excess fluid into this pan. Um, not a whole lot, but enough. I didn't want to make a huge mess all over my bench. So before we swap the pulleys, we're actually going to double check that everything is on the new one that the old one has, or make sure they're the same, I guess is a better way to put it. 
Um, so I'll kind of double check the look of the reservoir. They look the same. My hose lines are in the same spot. <clears throat> same with my high pressure. Looks like they have the same fittings on them. Um, obviously the pulley has to come off this one and this hose. And that's what we're going to do next. Um, I'll pull these plugs out. The one for the cap. <clears throat> I've taken the cap off at the car so I could suck the fluid out of it. But The tool I'm going to be using to get the pulley off is this Lyle 39000. It was like $35, $40 bucks on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> figure it is a decent purchase. AutoZone, O'Reilly's, all those places probably have one that you can rent. Uh, which basically you pay them for the tool as if it's new and then when you bring it back you get your money back pretty sweet deal if you don't want to go out and buy the stuff so i'm going to get this set up and show you how to take the pulley off so the way this one works is there's this clamp body that goes around the pulley then we're going to drop the shorter of the two screws Actually, we're going to use the longer of the two screws drop it down inside the pulley we're going to use a little bit of WD-40 on this threaded rod nope we are going to use a short one just go ahead and get that started we take this rod, thread it into the bottom. That'll keep the clamp and pulley from spinning. And it'll give us something to kind of hold on to. Once that's tight, take a 7 16 wrench, put it on there, and just start to tighten it. the pulley will start to come off. I think it was on there, so I had to grab my long ratchet and socket. Kind of use the bench to keep it from moving and hold on to the pump. Just keep tightening until it falls off. There we go. So I already started putting the pulley back on, <clears throat> but to do it, this kit comes with these adapters. They kind of look like this. Find the one that fits the threads inside your pulley or your pump the best. You're gonna thread the long end down into it. Once you get that on there, you're gonna set this um, screw up Just like that, you're gonna have a puller screw, nut, washer, bearing. <clears throat> then we're gonna thread this down onto that adapter and it'll kind of bottom out. Tighten this nut down. You're gonna hold onto the screw with a 7 16 wrench. Turn the nut with a 15 16 wrench. go till it kind of bottoms out back it off a little bit pull it apart see if it's flush it's not. So we got a little more to go. But once I get this pulley on the rest of the way, 
All that's left to do is put the pump back in. Insulation is reverse of removal. Pretty simple job all together, guys. Thanks guys for watching another video. Remember to like it, subscribe if you haven't, we'd really appreciate it. Again, hopefully this uh, makes working on your car a little bit less scary. And we hope you take a minute out of your day to do some maintenance.